Okay. Um, so we can co audit, we can create networks, we can co train, we can uh, let's see. Um, see, there's, there's a thing I want to talk about. One of, one of the uh, ways that, uh, I mean, I was almost six months in the Sea Org at AO, so I, <laughs> I didn't do a lot of Sea Org stuff like my sister in law there. She was on six years? Six years. Six years in Sea Org. She really worked. Um, but they had, a, they had a saying there, right? In Sea Org. Read it, drill it, and do it. They had no worry about classification. I remember when I was on the Key Life course, uh, these two years, the supervisors, uh, the, we ended at 10, right? And I was getting out of there. And they were sitting down going, starting to study. And they were going to study until 1 o'clock. And I said, what are you guys doing? And she goes, go to bed. Yeah, five hours is good enough for me, you know, these CR guys. And they were like, reading it, really <laughs> doing it. Did they care about classification? No. No. Um, I know that Hubbard, what then his intention, well, that's my feeling that his intention wasn't to create classification for elitism, to make one person feel more better or make one big person feel less than somebody else. And uh, this aberration I started to see in the church when some scatters got in and these people got in. But a lot of elitism, you know, well, I'm in the sewer or you're not. Well, I'm a class so and so, and you're not. I remember when I was in the church, I couldn't even talk to the class eight because I just did the brief course and I wasn't good enough. <laughs> this is aberrated mentality, and what we like, uh, what I like about the free zone uh, or free zone or the independent field, is that uh, now we're all on an even keel again. Except if you hold on to that mentality, of course. But actually. We're all able to kill. Why can't we drill it? Why can't we read it, read it, read it, drill it, do it ourselves? Well, they would, you know, are they better than us? No. These two guys who are very courageous were sitting there 11 to 1 o'clock every night reading it, drilling it, doing it. But we can do the same thing. If I was worried about somebody, some authority giving me a classification status. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be auditing L's or knots or doing that's research. I'll be waiting for someone to bless me. <laughs> I'll have that. For free. Free to read, drill it, do it, or whatever you want to do. Or not even not do it. You don't have the freedom money. Let me show you something. This is from, I brought this up at the other convention, but I'm going to continue to bring it up. <laughs> this is from a 1952 LRH quote uh, from a tape. Uh, in fact, you can read it in the um, research, develop, uh, research and Discovery Volume 9, page uh, 456. And quote unquote, LRH, milestone one. He says, uh, if you will just stay with me on this line, in Scientology and Dianetics, up to the first milestone in Scientology, and bring yourself up to a high level of ability, and apply yourself to that, you will be free. Free from me, meaning outrage, and free from Scientology too. I'm totally free from it, else. I come back for you. <laughs> I come back to master the technology even more and do further research. All right. That's a good state of mind, don't you think? Absolutely. That's very healthy. You're still stuck in a lot of the church thing. You gotta like you know, sometimes it takes up to twelve years for a person to really become an independent person in, in, in the field. Uh, this is my statistic. I've been out 22 years, and, and I've talked to people who've been out 30 years, and it's, it's sometimes 12 years for somebody to get out of that mindset and start reading books and find this stuff. Don't worry about who's who. I'm no 
I'm better than you, that because I did a few OT levels, you might not. Some of you can even be a lot better auditors than me. I think my daughter's saying her to me. <laughs> all right, let's go. Um, that's all about leadism. <clears throat> oh, one more thing. One more quote about LRH about leadism. He says, uh, any organization which sincerely considers elitism or considers people being lower than them than being higher, he said, is a sin. And it's also a, uh, it's a death organization. And that's what we see in the church at night, because this, they, think, they think you're wogs or you're squirrels and they're better than you. Okay. <clears throat> the LRH code, insubordination is an arbitrary and degrading practice. Don't fall on that trap. Okay. Um, we have our speaker going to speak today, Candy. Did she leave us again? She just went to the rest. All right, all right. Yeah, she's yeah. ready. Now give me this stretch. <laughs> now, there were some people who called me and said, Are you going to talk about the 2D second dynamic? And uh, there was one person who said, uh, I'm not going unless you're talking about the 2D. <laughs> So uh, I put it in the agenda. Anybody here, uh, the, the, it's okay people talk about if I give a, later on this afternoon, a talk on the second dynamic? Sure. Yeah, it's a very powerful talk. You know, I do have a second dynamic right now and all that stuff. Uh, the idea came from uh, Rocky Stump, actually. He was a senior CS when I was in the briefing course. He got an approved second dynamic rundown. I don't know if you know about that. Did you know about that, Trey? I heard it. Yeah. And um, it, was, it was quite popular. Um, of course, I think he ran away with a 16-year-old or something. They got booted out, right? <laughs> I mean, you got to apply this stuff, and you can't uh, uh, go against the uh, laws of land, you know. If you want a 16-year-old, guys, you have to go to the South and East Asia or something, you know, where it's legal. <laughs> it used to be legal in Nevada, but now they moved it up to 18. Um, <clears throat> okay, any questions? What we covered yesterday? Today? Anything I said today to offend anybody? <laughs> I did? No, I was offended. You were offended? <laughs> Well, see, Leslie should give you a session. Okay, well, that'd be great. That's why, that's why I got offended. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting sessions from her, too. I mean, I was like, you know, especially at the end of the year, when you hit the end phenomena, you feel great, you're like present time, and there's this lovely lady looking at you, you know. It like, adds to it, you know. In fact, there was one PC I had that said, "No, I don't want to get. Any, I don't want to buy sessions from you, right? I'll buy sessions from Leslie. <laughs> She's better looking than you, and I. And, you know, <laughs> I already look at her. You know, and I said, "All right, Leslie, you want an auto?" She says, "All right." <laughs> but doesn't that kind of violate the interest in your own case and willing to talk to the auditor? He's willing to talk to the auditor, but he's paying attention to her. Is not yeah, that's true. But I know Leslie, she's, she's a pretty good auditor, and she'll just flip that around. Cool. There you go. Putting attention on her is our case. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby was her. Bobby was his case. <laughs> that's fine. And then he's got to audit that out, right? So who's, who's, who's the best to audit that out? Okay, uh, that's all I got to say this morning. Oh, politics. There was a little politics thing that came up. Politics. Um, yesterday, yesterday I wanted to say this, and I forgot. Um, I'm a little uh, semi-historian buff. 
And I notice that when countries start to support a political regime, if it's religious or some races or some sort of idea, and they start to support that group more than their country. And two, I'll give you two examples, like uh, the brown shirts in Nazi Germany. The party became more important than Germany, the country. So people followed the party line, and it led to the destruction of Germany. Another uh, good, good example was the black shirts in, uh, in uh, Italy. It became the black shirts in Italy was under Mussolini. I remember Mussolini, right? And what happened to Mussolini at the end? Yeah, they got strung up. Okay. So when a country starts to go, we're going to follow this ideas and this particular political group, and it's more important than our country. It's more important than the people. No. And there are some tendencies that that's what's going on in this country. People are following political groups rather than what's 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 the best for us. So when you go to vote, <laughs> don't vote for the political group. Vote for what's best for the country. Yes, we can. <laughs>